Hey guys, what is up? It is Kay back with another video after so long. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into this video. Not really much to explain, so let's get to it. Yeah. Here we have the Bratz Boys Punks, Dylan. Now, he is actually one of my favorite characters out of the entire Bratz, you know, universe. Dylan is my favorite. Um, he's so quirky and funny, and he's just like this tough guy, I can do it all personality like type of guy. And he's actually very quirky, super sweet and funny. And he just gets a bad rap because he's a heartbreaker. Is it Halloween already? <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> and yeah, so. This is the way that the box looks. Um, it does come with the original tag with the Brett's Pretty in Punk, London, fun facts, and it gives you like a little booklet of stuff. Comes with a chain that you can turn into a bracelet. So I've heard. Um, and this is the box. Now, I did get him for $38. I was so happy when I found this on the eBay website. Um, the seller was super cool. I ended up buying them immediately. And super fast shipping too. So I'm really grateful that I was able to get him for the price. Now, he did run around like maybe I'm going to say like $19 back in the day in 2005. But $38 is not that bad when I've seen him for like more than like $150. So... Now this is the back of the box. I really love the artwork, very watercolor, super punks, and then it says party like a punk. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them and we'll be right back. So this is Dylan out of the box. Now I don't wanna show the entire out of box process. I did end up saving the artwork from the back of the box, even though he does come with a poster, but I didn't want to mess up the box just in case I ever do want to rebox him. Now, the funniest thing that he did come with was a comb, which is hilarious because his head is fully flopped. Now, I don't know about you, but I was obsessed with Bratz Rock Angels when it first came out because I was like, I grew up listening to like rock and roll and like metal and everything. So when I saw a doll that was themed in this type of like fashion and norm, I was like, oh, fuck yeah. I love the whole punk aesthetic, you know, the British flag or Great Britain, I don't even fucking know, whatever. But I always liked the way that he looked like this in the movie with, you know, these like baggy black pants with pockets and the chain and the tuck like shoes and also like the high socks and the flannel short sleeve and it was just so cute and everything. I just wish he looked a little bit more movie accurate the way that he does with his regular hair instead of having, you know, like a little soul patch and like a blonde buzz cut. Now some of the accessories he does come with, he does come with like this um, body like shoulder cross bag that he has on. He also comes with Ian, which is his little black hat, which also has whiskers, which I totally fucking love. And the suitcase that also came with stickers, which I already put him on there and we'll go, you know, a little bit more in depth into these things. Now, I don't know about you, but personally me, Dylan has the most prettiest face out of the entire boys' brats from this playline. Bushy eyebrows and then, you know, that honey green eye color that he has going on. The very soft lips, whether in Cameron and Eden, it looks like they're wearing lipstick. Where with Dylan, it looks a little bit more natural. And I really love that he does have like this a little bit more like tanner olive skin tone to show that he is biracial rather than his dolls always looking like he's Caucasian when he's really not. I know that he's mixed and I know a lot of people have complained that why wasn't he true to his color, especially when Talking Brats came out and his skin tone was way more darker than what we remembered, which is more accurate as it should be. Now for his clothing, he does have a cobalt blue long sleeve with the British flag um, logo on it and then as well as a red and black short sleeve flannel with buttons that you can see really the details on, which I love. He does have also, like I said, a black leather cross body bag, which I really love. Now for the bottom part of his clothing, he does have these trip style shorts that are black denim and it does have this um, chain link running around on the belt loops, which I really like. Gives it a very early 2000 goth slash punk vibe. Now, if you're a true emo at heart, then you know all about tuck shoes or platform shoes. I love the way that these look 
all black patent leather with some high socks that are also black. Very classic, but also very subtle, but also very punk at the same time. This is Ian. Like I said, they do have whiskers. All in um, flocked fully. Little cute black clothes and yellow eyes. I love that. And the tail is also movable. And also are the legs. I'm just surprised they didn't have a collar or a leash like the dogs do in this line but i love them now they also have this suitcase that you're able to roll around and as well as open and store things in there like their second outfit but it's safe and i'm going to leave it like that and then i just put the stickers that say london and big ben on them also this also goes up and down and then the little handle right here is also movable um, I really like this. It's really cute and it's gonna stay closed. Now for the second outfit, they do have like this sweater vest with the flag um, knitted on it, stitched. Now the, what's interesting is that this um, long sleeve, this is actually a three piece. So, oh no, it's, it's a two piece, lol. But um, the first of the front shirt, opens up through here and then it turns into this i'm not gonna put the second outfit on because i really don't like it but i just thought it was really cute and yeah these are the jeans they're just ripped jeans and they look like they've been like um stone washed which is super polyer back then especially like vivian westwood style type of clothing now my favorite thing is actually this leather jacket it's a moto jacket um, you can see it also has the flag lines on there with some studs on there. So very nice. Feels like actual leather, but it's maybe pleather. But I love it. Well, there's Dylan. Like I said, they are my favorite character out of the entire Bratz Boys. Definitely um, the better dressed one. You don't look a little bit more, you know, punk rock. But I feel like this stays true to the subtle punk vibe now i will love to customize them and go ahead and give them the hair that they're supposed to like they have in the movie but i don't want to go through the trouble and i'm just gonna leave them as is but i'm gonna go ahead and bring in chloe and jade just to you know continue this whole punk vibe so here is chloe and here is jade i did end up giving jade a mullet just because her hair was already really messed up and she was my first doll since I had her since 2005. So I just felt like it was a little bit more fitting. She looks super punk rock and I love it. It's just the dark um, purple lips and then the black and blue hairstyle. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It looks so good together. Now I did have the rest of this playline. I just really didn't resonate with Cameron and Megan and Yasmin. I do have Eden, but his hair is also messed up. So I'm trying to reroute him and his body did yellow, so. Trying to find a replacement that's pull enough for him. So yeah. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We have reached the end. Thank you so much again. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm also hosting a giveaway for this brand new inbox Rainbow High Cheryl Mayer. Now um, go ahead and follow me at Young Moo on Instagram, Lactose K on TikTok, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe here. Leave a comment on why you should win. Now, the giveaway does end March 15th. You must be 18 and older if not have parents' permission. And also, please live within the U.S. because shipping costs are really expensive right now. And I'm just trying to give back a little bit more since you guys have been so nice to me. And also because I just don't really resonate with this doll. I really don't like Rainbow High. It was a Christmas present, but I'd rather give it away to someone that will appreciate and love them. So yeah, don't forget that, guys. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye!